How nervous are you, dude? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I'm with Jonathan here, and uh, Jonathan was trying to get in for a couple years here. He came to x-rays a bunch of years ago, and then didn't come in, and now he took him again last month, and he finally wants to get treated. Uh, he has some unusual issues, trigeminal neuralgia for one, but he says it only happens when it's cold. He has a lot more issues that he's letting on right now, but we're gonna see how he does over time. Let you guys watch the whole process. Checking his range of motion gives us some insight to his symptoms. See how he moves here, and he's restricted in some ways. We took x-rays, we can see the high neck reversal and atlas wear. Here we see some scoliosis in his low back, Woo-wee! So pretty good. My name is Jonathan, 27, and right now I am an engineer. I'm here more for, I guess, a preventative maintenance type of thing. The colder it got, the more my head would hurt and my neck would hurt. It started with like an eye pain up here, like kind of like by the eyebrow, and then it felt like it was kind of shooting through, like through the back, and then some of it through my head, and then to the neck. And then with the neck pain is when I remembered your whole methodology of all these pains coming from the neck. So what else? You have the ocular pain here. You have pain shooting through your head. What else? You said you also have trigeminal neuralgia. Tell us about that. Doing my own kind of research, I realized that a lot of the pain that I was having that was going through like my eye and my, my head and stuff was all like trigeminal nerve type pain that I could find on the internet, even though, you know, it's just... Wasn't formally diagnosed, but he just did it himself. Yeah, web MD'd myself. <laughs> Fair enough. Do you ever have any pain in your jaw down in this area? Or was it always behind your eye? Uh, surprisingly, nothing in the jaw. We call that more of an ocular headache or a migraine. And so there's nothing wrong with him trying to self-diagnose himself, but I'd like to share his uh, journey to get to my office. Normally, he has headaches two times a week. Uh, neck pain gets worse in the winter too, it sounds like. He has pain, the rib pump up here. Low back pain, right knee pain. Numbness in your hands too, sometimes at night, in the morning. Yeah, every now and then. His sleep. He thinks his sleep is fine, but I tell you, it's not. The only thing that I'm gonna say that I can see very uh, overtly right now is his anxiety. You can feel the anxiety coming out of him. And so that is from lack of sleep. And again, denial is a big thing in my practice. I see it lots of times with patients, and he doesn't wanna say he has these issues because he just lives with them all the time. They're just part of him. So I think we're gonna help him with his anxiety a lot, help with his sleep, even though he doesn't think it's a sleep problem. Uh, we are going to help with that. And we're going to help with all the other stuff he wants help with too. But those are the things I see big time on him. Do you know the chiropractors at all? Uh, yeah, I have. I mean, it felt good for like a day or two. And then... Any pain just come from your back? No. Very minimal. Any problem there with your neck? No. How about that? It's also like a two. Okay, any pain in your knees or back? Gotcha. X-rays are... Not the worst I've ever seen, but he does have interesting uh, presentation at C2, C3. Definitely high reverse curve. His spinous processes are actually sort of linked together. They're not very separated, so it puts a tremendous amount of pressure on the atlas, which puts pressure on his brainstem. Three and a half years ago, we had a two millimeter right imbalance, occiput tilt, left TMJ. Today, we have a two millimeter left imbalance, left lower shoulder, same occiput and TMJ. Three years ago, we had pretty straight spine and mild constipation. Today, we have 11 degree scoliosis, three millimeter short right right leg, same constipation. Three years ago, we had a high neck reversal and one-third atlas wear. Today, we have the same. Mild sway back and constipation three years ago, but today we have sway back, beginning arthritis, and constipation. How nervous are you, dude? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, come on. So pretty good. Right through those spinous process, guys. Um, take a look at those x-rays right now. I mean, right up on it here. You can already hear it going. The reason why I popped before is because he's a self-adjuster and so he cracks his own neck too much and that loosens up the area around it, makes it difficult to stabilize the spine, so obviously stop it, guys. We're helping Jonathan up and now we're telling him not to twist and turn or he will undo my work. You see, when you twist and turn, you activate all those muscles that have been used to doing it the wrong way and we want to try to stabilize the spine by letting it settle in just for a few moments. Let's see how he's doing. The neck feels straighter. Anything else? I think you look more beautiful. That's kidding. hard to believe. <laughs> Just you can't improve on perfection. <laughs> the adjustment felt like uh, somewhere that hadn't been adjusted before with other chiropractors. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Part of improving in this office is recalibrating. We have to readapt to the changes that I've made in the neck. This is what we're doing right now. Any difference there? Uh, I wouldn't say no, no difference. That was a two. Yeah, I would say it's like a one now, probably like half as much. There was nothing there before, right? Look at the ceiling, please. That was a two or a one, I forget what that was before. I think I said two. Um, yeah, the, the small pain that I felt on the right side is less. So. 
Yeah, so smoother. What I'm doing right now is I'm pushing your shoulders down. I'm forcing them down. I am doing what I'm telling you to do right now. I'm forcing your body to have lower shoulders. The brain perceives relaxation when the shoulders are down. When the shoulders are up, it perceives stress. Come so here. this is the feeling you're trying to chase when you're walking. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna adjust your lower neck here. Drop your head right. Gotcha, okay. We do this side. I think this is the painful side though. Okay, well, we'll see. Now drop your head down, more forward, more forward. That wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad? No. Uh, it's been a struggle, mentally, I guess, trying to break the old uh, habits, all the things you've been, I've been doing wrong for forever, so. How much better are you or worse or the same? I would say I feel about the same, uh, just, I don't know, it's, um, well, you know how it's been. It's, it actually does feel a little different. I, I feel like it was a little more um, sharp. Now it's just a little bit like duller pain. I feel like Perfect. after that second day of adjustments when I said that I felt it coming back in, when uh, you said you were touching it, um, so it went up in pain a little bit and I feel like it's scaling down. And as it's scaling down, it's... Pain. A different symptom, it's a, a different, different feeling. Exactly. Gotcha. You haven't had a migraine at all? No. He's had a little episodes of uh, some eye twitching and eye pain no. just for split seconds. No headaches. Yeah, headaches. Neck pain two, three times a week. Didn't really have much of that either, but it has has that changed at all? Uh, the sensitivity on the left side, yeah, has, has gone down, actually. Upper back up here, too? Yeah, that's what we're working on. Working on right now. Has that, that's gotten worse, probably, I guess I would say. Yeah, a little bit. So it's gotten worse because we're trying to... Well, I'm trying to relearn the posture, the proper posture. So when you go from years of standing one way and you do it the other way, uh, it's, it's a Difficult. pain. It's Pain's hard. Pain. It's hard. It's low back pain. Any change there? Uh, no. Not really. Sleep. My sleep has gotten better. That's one of the things that's tripping me out. Uh, tripping me out. <laughs> I'm sleeping like less, feeling more refreshed than I was before. Before I would try to sleep like six, seven hours a night and I would... I thought I was feeling okay. It was fine. Uh, with these adjustments, uh, like you said, that they throw off your sleep uh, cycle because there's no circadian rhythm. Um, so out of I, I can't sleep, and I'll get like a four-hour sleep through Session. the night. Yeah, yeah. and uh, I'll wake up feeling like you had a whole uh, night's sleep. Yeah, I feel pretty refreshed, which is odd. Pretty strange. Yeah. 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 Good. Yeah, I just had a revelation. Uh, realized that. My glutes were, were, it's hard to uh, not have them engaged because I had a back injury a long time ago and I overcame that pain by just kind of staying tight. And so that was like my, my way to stay tight was just like glutes engaged. And, and uh, for years, you didn't realize you're just standing there and like the glutes are maybe not squeezed all the way like that, but they're engaged. So when you're telling me, you know, stand up and relax, and I always feel, I start to realize like I need to. You need to relax those too. Yeah, it's yeah. That's it's really hard. Yeah. So we talk about how hard it is to make changes. He is the poster child for how hard how hard it is to make changes. He says he wants to stay another week, so we'll get another video on this, showing how change happens over more time. You think it's worth it? I'm kind of curious. You think it's worth it being here right now? Obviously, you're paying for it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm paying for it. I was just about to say that. Exactly. What would you tell other people out there about the program right now? It's harder than you think. I would say. Good. So, don't come in thinking it's going to be like. You're going to be a couple over, adjustments. overnight. Yeah, you, you got to put in work. Funny thing is only a few people watch these videos to this end right here. Mm -hmm. And when you guys watch this, this is the goal. This is where the real magic happens in the think, discussion we're having now. You can watch the adjustments and think that's, the, that's it. And it's great. Adjustments are great. And it does do a lot of work. But the goal is the brain changing, the way the motions change, the way you... Uh, interact with your body and those are the things that are the things that are life changing things. Anyways, we're getting there. Let's get you adjusted. So that, that's always the same, right? Always exactly the same. Yeah, that's probably the best it's felt. Yeah. Good. That's a good sign. I can feel some tenderness in here still. Last time when you rolled it around like that, it was like... Yeah, achy. Uh, hurt really yeah. bad. No, you're improving, dude. Excellent. <laughs> I feel my sinuses opening. Good. That's been like a common thing, thing from yeah. last from when the first time I felt it. Yeah. To like another time in the in the waiting room. And yeah. Right now. When I change the orientation of the neck, I change the orientation of the skull, 
and this thing called a station tube that goes from your nose to your ear. It's the tube that we equalize when we're on the planes. We yawn or go up the mountain, you ah, you're equalizing that so that the nose and the ear are balanced. I didn't come in here. I didn't even list down like sinus problems and issues. And so I'm noticing it too. So it's <laughs> And now you're like checking your breathing right away. Because I get that sensation. Yeah. 